know, just to try and just keep them in sight and hold on. It's just, yeah, I mean, I, you have to learn to to race um, different different ways. Yeah. So. There were some times where it looked like you were like, hey, I'm going to try and at least pass one guy, you know, mm -hmm. and try and get into the mix a little bit. Um, how did those attempts feel to you? Yeah, I mean, I just, I think I remember going through the 200, it said 30, so it was a little slower than I wanted to. So I tried to, to get up past, um, past, I think, one of the guys in the back. And then he quickly, like, went ahead of me. I don't think he wanted me to pass him, but... Um, I just wanted to, to get in my race and hopefully push for that 353. But you know, at the end, it was still good. I held on and I ended up passing one person, so it's pretty good. Of all the great things you've done in this calendar year, senior year, does this feel like the the, the, the biggest achievement? Oh, for sure, yeah. Just okay. even being on the start line with those guys, like you just look over, you just see like everyone, like all these professionals, it's a huge name. So just to be on the start line with them is pretty exciting and so this is definitely definitely a highlight you said you saw your 200 split were you aware of kind of what your splits going through the race after that not really I mean I really only saw my times at the 200 marks because um, the, t the time would stop for the leader so I couldn't see what I went through the 400s in so I was just trying to base my time off of what I saw at the down at the 200 marker just to try and hold on to the backpack which on tell you have to work he said it was good. Um, I was just in the tent sitting down for probably like 10, 15 minutes. I like threw up twice. I was just like, oh man. But um, he said it was good. It was, he said it was really good. Third fastest all time in high school behind um, Love and Jim Ryan. So those are two huge names. And it's cool to be right there, right behind them. Is Lex going to do it tonight, do you think? You wonder four? I'm not sure. I mean, he has a. I don't know. I think he's probably around like 401, 402, but if he does, then that'd be just another excitement, another big shot. A lot of the fans want to see you raise Gary Martin in the mile this year, yeah. but you're running the 800, I think, at New Balance. Might you guys match up somewhere? Um, no, we won't We won't match up this year. Um, I mean, he's he's phenomenal, went 357 on his own, so that's, that's big, but yeah, we won't have the chance to race this year. Why not? Um, I mean, I don't think it fits in the schedule. I just have one more race. Um, we've been planning on doing this 800 for a while. And I know he's doing the mile there at Brooks PR, but um, uh, I just, this is the big mile that I was focusing on. And I think it's a good way to end the, end the season, end my mile season. It's different, the, the whole group split up into three different meets today. Uh, mm -hmm. It must be kind of a different feel to kind of be on your own because usually it's like you guys are traveling around all together. Yeah, yeah, usually we're all with each other. So it's kind of, I mean, it's a little different coming out here, just like myself and my coach and my mom. But um, we all had different opportunities, and we all took it. So. How are you guys checking on each other today? What was your audience response? Mm -hmm. So I think, I don't know, it's really weird. We have so many people running today. We have It's me here, um, Aaron, Sam, and Daniel down at um, the state meet in California. And we have Lex in Alabama. So they all we all run at different times. It's kind of hard to keep track, but we'll be checking in on each other for sure. So. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.